out and remove these things so that we can not have to and just look forward actually. And you don't have to bend around for a chair there. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been hard for you, I think, over there. Uh, but does that work for you? Okay, that would be perfect. Okay. All right, so things that you, uh, things, which one we want to, what do you got? This is, this, is, this is that you love? Yes. Okay, so things that you love. Uh, mentoring students. Great. It's another one. Another thing that working with parents and students. Cool. Ooh. Who's got another one that you love? All right. So um, the support uh, that the community gives TSA. So students, working with parents and students, the support, what else have we got? Um, leadership, that the leadership is committed to uh, shaping kids, characters, skills, confidence. So right at your mission, that the leadership is committed to these things. Growth. Growth um, and make it fun for kids. Oh, yes. Cool. So that's two things there. Uh, there we go. Any other ones that you love, things that you love? Okay. Um, things that you might want to change or things that you say, oh, you know, if I could, if I had my genie lamp, I might do this. No changes? Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, like, um, changing about pieces, like, more togetherness, more like parent participation. Okay. Uh, like, wow. Uh, together, it's parent participation, <laughs> qualified coaches. Okay, great. Uh, you have, you can we can have the same thing twice. I mean, um, add sponsors and community support. So support. So trying to get some bigger names behind us um, that maybe will drive some other components of what we're trying to do. Definitely. Um, we uh, I remember I was telling you that I ran this, this small thing out of DC, and uh, we got vitamin water one summer. And it was crazy to be able to go to people and say, you know, again, yeah, you know, these people are supporting us. Mind you, it was in product that's so great. And so, I, yeah. you know, it's, it's helpful when things when things turn your way. Um, yeah, and you guys now, I mean, with AAU and PCA coming together, I mean, Positive Christian is a pretty big, mm -hmm. big group that maybe can help you uh, open some other doors. Um, the lack of quality coaching. All right, so it sounds like we have a couple things up here. We're trying to get our coaches a little bit more qualified. Um, or a little bit more, are you saying, when you guys are talking about coaches, you're talking about technically, technically, tactically, yeah. uh, that type yes, of thing, yes. versus, because we're probably there because they like kids and they want to help, but just they don't have the, the, the skill, skill set. set. So how do we yes. generate some, some coaches that actually have some skills yes. to teach? This is a different level of coaching uh -huh. than a boys club or a YMCA, mm -hmm. which is not as fine-tuned uh -huh. and demanding of really knowing what you have to do. So at this level, you really have to have coaches that really understand the game. And is the goal with your kids to um, instill a love of the sport first and then the technique? Or is it let's give them some technique and through that they're developing love? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. The fundamentals first. Okay. So Learn that first, then you develop the passion and the love for the game. But you don't have that, how can you have passion and love for the game if you don't understand the fundamental techniques? Right. Right. All right. So any other things that you guys have written down that you want to include on these? So um, so what I, I have these two, and I think in our ideal world, um, we'd spend a little time talking about these. Um, however, given that you know we're, we're nearly done with our time, given the move, um, <laughs> what I will do is I will... Um, I'll fold these up, or you guys can take them and, and write it down on a separate sheet if you want. You can write them just on this. However, it's the best way for you to keep some notes. But there are some consistent, some consistent things that, you know, when I'm looking here, you're saying the people with whom we're working, whether it's the leadership, whether it's the parents, whether it's the kids, we are committed to them, and we love that about our organization. And that's pretty cool. Um, and we feel really confident and excited about it. This is a lot of change. Okay. And then on the change side, um, to not just be looked at as a sports thing, but a life-building thing. So on the change side, uh, what I'm seeing are a couple things. One, as we just talked about the coaches issue. Uh, two, how do we take this passion and love that we have for our mission and translate it both into um, sponsors and other community support, but then into an understanding of here's what we're all here's really what we're all about. Yes, sports is 
part of it, but here's this other component. So, so, um, so the charge to you guys on these two sheets is to not let these get folded up and slip in your book and then slip under the driver's side seat and, you know, never, never appear again. But to actually, at your next meeting or as your next, you know, going out to lunch or having a, having a drink or whatever it happens to be, having a coffee, that you're talking about this and saying, how can we continue to build on this? Let's not lose this. But how can we make this help us get here? Uh, and make these changes and, and be aware. These are the changes that we want to have. Happen. And so to think about these as we, as we go through the next uh, little chunk of time. Sound, sound like a deal? Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, so there's this great quote, uh, which isn't focused for you. It's in your book. But few of any forces in human affairs are as powerful as a shared vision. Um, so what, what I have um, for you guys is a silly putty. And what I'd love for you to do is pop it open, and I'd like you to make something. Anything. You can make anything you want to make, but I'm only going to give you 20 seconds to make it. So, uh, so make it. Don't. Make your art something. makes whatever you want, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Right this second. I can give mine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a pen. Okay, so you got about 10 seconds. So I realize I'm, I'm rushing you on to make it, but this way you don't have to feel like you aren't are artistic. You just feel rushed. Five seconds. And stop. All right. Coach Meese, what you got there for us? Tell us. A sad face. A sad face. All right. So we got a sad face over here in the corner. What did you make for us? Basketball. A basketball. Okay, great. <laughs> what did you got for us? Flat. Flat. Foundation, ground. All right. Cool. So foundation, ground. And what do you have? I have love. Love. A heart. I like how you guys are not just taking images, but emotions. It's good. It's, it's, a, it's a fun fun thing. All right. Now, what I want you to do is to take your, your item and make something sports related. Anything sports related, any sport, you already are done. If you want to change it, you can. Uh, 20 seconds, you can perfect it. Whatever makes you happy. 20 seconds. Sports related. Go for it. Sports related. Outside component of what's what's within you. Mm. What did you have for us? Baseball bat. A baseball bat. I can see that with a little bottom there. And then what do you? A tennis racket. A tennis racket. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> All right. So, um, so really good job creating the sports. Now, what I want you guys to do is together, and I'll give you 50 seconds maybe to create some sort of sports theme together. You can use your pieces together, but something where you're making something uh, that all works together, however you see it working. We got it already. Right. You, yeah. you, you can change, you can remold the things, what whatever do, you want. We use these sports to oh, reach yeah, kids. Yeah. Use soccer, basketball. And your girls like to play jump balls, don't they? Oh, oh the older ones too, yeah. I'm going to cut them in the back, huh? That's all right. That's all good. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what did you guys? Who's going to explain this? This uh, work of art that we have together. <laughs> All right. Um, as Emmanuel said, a foundation in order to play sports, any kind of sport, you have to have the heart to do it. So once you dedicate and commit the heart with the kids, now you give them the tools that they need in order for them to go on.